All right, hey everybody, we're gonna talk about what is trigonometry today and how trigonometry relates to right triangles. So, right, what is trigonometry? It is the study of triangle measurements. So in trigonometry, the reason why we call it trig is because we have trig functions. These are our trigonomic functions. It's sine, cosine, and tangent. Those are the three um, major ones that we're gonna deal with. So when we have sine, sine is gonna be the ratio of the opposite leg and the angle, opposite leg of, to the angle and the hypotenuse. So if we were looking at angle A, the opposite side would be side A, and the hypotenuse is C. But if you look at this at a different view, and you look at sine of B, that means it's gonna be B over C. So it just all depends on the angle that we want to talk about. So that's gonna be super important. So if we did cosine, Cosine is gonna be the leg adjacent and the opposite side. So we're gonna do um, cosine of A. The opposite side would be side A, but the adjacent side is gonna be B. So we would be B over C. And if we did cosine of B, the adjacent side is A, so it'd be A over C. And then lastly, we have tangent, which is a ratio of the opposite leg and the adjacent leg to an angle. So if we did so tangent of A, it would be opposite, which is A, over adjacent, which is B. And if we did B, we would be B over A. So we have an acronym that helps us remember what all of these ratios are, or like what all these trig functions, and it is so, ka, toa. So so stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Ka is cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and TOA is tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we're going to see how this all then applies, okay? And I just want you to remember that like tangent of A, cosine of A, cosine of B, sine of A, sine of B, A is referring to the angle. So the angle measure is always gonna be inside the trig function, okay? So that is super important to remember too. So we're gonna write the ratios for each of these based on our trig functions. So if we're doing sine of A, sine of A is gonna be five over 13. Cosine of A is gonna be 12 over 13. Tangent is five over 12. Sine of C is 12 over 13. Cosine is five over 13. And tangent is 12 over five. For number two, we don't know what the hypotenuse is, but that's fine, we can figure it out. We know how to do the Pythagorean. So we're gonna figure out what that um, value is. So that means this is 15. So then when we do W, W is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 12 over 15. And if we reduce this, we get um, four over, sorry, four over five. Um, co I'll do cosine, I'll stick with it. Nine over 15, which is three over five, and tangent is 12 over nine, which is four over three. And then if we do X, we have opposite over hypotenuse, nine over 15, which is three over five, um, 12 over 15, which is four over five, and um, nine over 12 which is three over four. And then lastly, this example, we have another right triangle, but we don't know what KM is. So we need to figure that out.
and then we'll be good to go to solve this. So we have 30 over 34, 15 over seven it reduces to. We have 16 over 34, which is reduces to eight over 17. And then we have tangent, which is 30 over 16, which is 15 over eight. Then for M, we have 16 over 34, eight over 17. And then we have 30 over 34, which is 15 over 17 and 16 over 30, which is eight over 15. Now we're gonna really dive down into um, how we do these problems because we're actually going to find a side length. Okay, so finding side lengths using trig. So the same thing we do is we're just setting this up with the angle and a trig function. So if we look at this 28 here, this side is our opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. So what uses opposite and hypotenuse? that's going to be sine. So we're gonna do sine of 28 degrees is equal to x over 19. And then we would solve this as any other problem. We would do 19 times sine of 28 is equal to x. So when you do this in your, cal so when you plug this into your calculator, you're just gonna do 19 times sine of 28. Um, when you do this, you have to make sure that we are in um, degree mode in your calculator as well, um, so that when you plug it in, X is going to be 8.9. So if you got like 5.1, then you have your calculator in radians and it needs to be in degrees because when we plug it in here, this is a degree, it's not a radian. Okay. So if you look at number five, this is opposite and this is adjacent. So opposite and adjacent uses tangent. So tangent of 41 is equal to X over 32. And X is equal to 27.8. Oop. Sorry, my holiday stuff that I'm crafting. So this one is adjacent and hypotenuse. So cosine of 21 is equal to X over 26. For this, we have um, opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 55 is equal to X over eight. So here we get a little bit different. So we have opposite and a hypotenuse. So sine of 33 is equal to 15 over X. We now have X in the denominator. So we have to go one step further than all of our other problems. So the same thing, we have sine X times sine of 33 is equal to 15. And now we need to divide 15 by sine of 33. So in your calculator, if you do 15 divided by sine of 33, you get X to be 27.5. So it's just taking that one step further. Adjacent and hypotenuse, so that's cosine. So X is equal to 36 divided by cosine of 43. We have opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 72 is equal to 25 over X. X is equal to 25 divided by tangent of 72.
And once you do them for so long, you know, you just get used to what it works out to be. Let me rewrite this. So now we're going to take our word problems that we've been doing and we're going to solve. So Jake leaned a 12 foot ladder against a house. Sorry, oh my gosh. If the angle formed by the ladder in the ground is 68, how far from the base of the house did he place it? So here is our angle. We have adjacent and hypotenuse. So we're going to do cosine of 68 is equal to x over 12. So 12 cosine of 68 is equal to x. And x is 4.5. A ramp used to load suitcases on an airplane. Um, the cargo door is 7 feet from the ground. And the angle formed by the end of the ramp in the ground is 25 degrees. How long is the ramp? So we have opposite and hypotenuse. So we're going to do sine of 25 is equal to 7 over x. So we're doing x is equal to 7 over sine of 25. x is equal to 16.6 feet. And I should have done this one too. This is feet as well. All right. Hope that helps.